tension, particularly between Hamas and and the Israelis. And there's just been a shakeup in uh, with the departure of Mr. Fayyad, who all of us uh, uh, respected enormously. Um, but I believe that when 80,000 people are being massacred in Syria, when we are seeing this spill over into surrounding countries, we're seeing the risk of the spread of these chemical weapons, uh, I have to give a priority to the crisis that is now unfolding in the Middle East. Um, I also believe that it is probably a better opportunity now to begin this process than there's been in a long time. Bibi Netanyahu is just in power for at least another four or five years. The, uh, the, the economy in the, in the West Bank is improving rather significantly. There's an emergence of a more wealthy middle class uh, in, in the Palestinian areas today. But I also would point out, as we must from time to time, who do we negotiate with? Do we negotiate with the PLO or do we negotiate with Hamas? Do, we, do they both sit down at the table with us? And obviously, we and the Israelis are committed to a two-state solution. And I would encourage that effort in every possible way. Now, here's the McCain proposal. And that is, there's one man in the world that I think that could really get this issue resolved. And I'm three quarters serious about this. And that's William Jefferson Clinton that came that close at Camp David to, uh, to uh, achieving an agreement between Yasser Arafat and Ehud Barak. And uh, I think that he has the respect and the knowledge and uh, that he could probably be a catalyst on this issue. And he hates when I say that. <laughs> <laughs>